All right, welcome back. Let's take a look around my home sweet home. Ugh. All right. Got blood in the fridge. Um, we could take that, I guess. We got shitty kitchen, radio, uh, computer, television. All right, what do we got here? Password for your computer is Sunrise. We keep cash in the drawer. It's yours. Talk to an email. All right. At your convenience, come visit me in my home. Dark blood, our curse alight this verse. Such power I sense in so young. Come find me where the mist burns the mystical sun. Tremere, well, Tremere region. And they wonder why the Tremere get a bad rap for being weird and mysterious. Let's take that money. And let's look at this computer here. Five emails. Five emails are on red. Email. Sunrise. Reminder. From LaCroix. The carrier will con contact you once you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. Great. Delete. Penis enlargement. Delete. Kilpatrick's crime pewter. Looking for a lazy ass ex husband who's late on his alimony payments. What about the jerk who knocked you up? Look no further. With Arthur Kilpatrick and the amazing crime pewter, you can find almost anyone with a record. And these days, it's just about everyone. So come down to uh, Arthur Kilpatrick's bail bonds. If you've got the dead beat, we've got the technology to find him. Delete. Welcome. Come over here. Hey, welcome to town. Come over to my place once you get situated, and we'll talk about what you need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up explosives right now. Some astrolite. I should be back by the time you come over. All right. 24 Main Street, number 4. Walk to the end of the alley. My building. Okay. Delete. The opening. A game begins upon is moved. Great. Email for suckhead. Quit. Quit. All right. Um. Cool. So there's that. Let's see. I guess I'll watch some TV. Has torn apart. Though details are being withheld from the public at Jesus. this time, police urge anyone with information relating to this case to contact them. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Hmm. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus, hmm. though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. Actor Ash Rivers is lucky to be alive after his car crashed into the gate at Parasite Studios earlier tonight. Witnesses say that they were shocked when the Negative Zero star emerged unscathed and apparently unfazed by his high-speed accident. Rivers That's suspicious. A statement stating that Rivers' crash was due to a mechanical problem and that the studio is not pursuing legal action against Rivers for the trademark gate's destruction. Miraculously, this is the second crash Rivers has escaped unharmed in the last year. Our top Guy needs to stop. Alright. Well, that about does it in here. I guess we could check the bathroom. Toothbrush, soap. Nasty shower. Hey, painkillers. No pill bottle? Estrogen. Caution. Do not take if male. Alrighty. Never mind. Um, okay, so there's that. I guess there's a couple of things. We could watch some news. Rhode Island has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus, though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. Our top story tonight, a derelict ship found floating 10 miles off the Los Angeles coast earlier this morning, was towed into the port of Los Angeles well, that seems good. ago. The ship was spotted around midnight by fishermen who contacted the Coast Guard after their attempts to hail the ship proved futile. Coast Guard hmm. officials are releasing very little information right now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Dane. That seems like a quest hook for later. As to the whereabouts of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Dane to assist them in their search. We'll have more on this story 
as it breaks. It okay, that's enough of that. Um, now, let this radio show here, the, the Deb of Night, is pretty much the most fantastic thing. Um, you can go the entire game and miss it, but here, let's just... What's the latest conspiracy? Conspiracy? This goes beyond conspiracy, okay? There's no word for something as devious and secret as this, you understand? People need to hear this. They need to know the real story. We've got our undivided attention. All right. As we all know, the Americans established a moon base back in the late 70s. That's no secret. What most people don't know is that they've been conducting a dig. Not for resources, but for artifacts. I see. Well, it's no coincidence that the Chinese have started conducting space missions. You know why? I'll tell you why. The reason is because the Chinese are trying to stop the Americans from finding an ancient space probe sent by the Beta Centaurians. And why? Because the Beta Centaurians are giving space oh, this technology is, to the Chinese to get back this is to painful. the AKA the Greys, for giving space technology to the Americans in the 50s. Oh my god. Thank you, Gomez, and that concludes the news portion of the show. Well All right, that's enough of Deb for now. Um, sh you can, we'll listen to her on the radio later. Let's kind of hit the road here. Oops. I cannot make doors work. There we go. Oh, I can lockpick the neighbor's door. Low difficulty of five. I need blood, but... Can I get in? Nope. Blood buffing myself twice was stupid. Alright, let's drink a blood pack here. Oh, I just used all three of them. Well, I'm a fucking idiot, but... Alright, cool. Whatever. What do we got here? Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found on pier. Police baffled. That went straight to my quest log. Yeah. All right, cool. What else we got around here? Do, 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 do. Neighbors don't seem to be home, but they left their door unlocked. And their computer unplugged. Nothing? Nothing. All right. No mail. Oops. Got to keep that under control. All right, let's hit the streets. You got you got some change, mister? Hmm. Um. Yeah, here. It's not much, but you can have some. Just very nice. Thank you. Mm-hmm. There, that should sort of help a little bit, mitigate my um, my own problems with accidentally getting a cop killed earlier. Or a security guard, I guess. Oh, shit. Hmm. Okay. So that happened. Um, Trip's Pawn Shop... Two. Hey, let's look at one. All right, well, let's check out the pawn shop, I guess. Hey, Trip, what you got going on? Holy Jesus. Uh, hey. Yeah? Uh, how's it going? You, um, looking at a buyer, seller? You call me Trip. I own this shop. Thanks. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? Yeah, I am. It's not a big surprise. We get new faces through here night after night. Used to be more tourists, but now... I don't know, man. 
It's more like drifters. Hmm. I'd like to buy something. All right, buddy. here's what we got today. Gold ring. Normal watch. That's it. All right. Exit. So thanks. thanks for coming back. What you need? Do you sell weapons? Um, no, not not really. Sorry. Uh, let's see. I'm not convinced. You know, you really don't seem the criminal and or undercover cop type. Yes, I'm the fabulous type. I don't want to do that. Let's see what you have. All right. Come oh, cool. A, a look, knife. Then. That's pretty good, and I have ninety dollars. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's better than my other melee weapons. Um, that's not saying much. I wonder if I should just get more ammo. What is the damage potential of my gun? Oh, it's awful. It's the same as hitting them with a tire iron. All right. Let's buy a better knife. That should be easy. Okay. Thanks, Trip. Catch you later. <laughs> All right. Rather than going to find Mercurio, I uh, think I'm going to I'm just hit the streets here a bit. This lady has tattoos and stuff. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Why did that happen? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Holy fuck, am I an idiot or what? Jesus Christ. Game! Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck did I do? Alright. Um, let's try that again. Maybe they'll for have forgotten. Holy fuck. That was dumb. I hit the pretty lady with a crowbar. Hey man, I don't have any change. Okay, everything seems pretty good, other than there's still the blood from where I hit her. Alright, uh, what's up? I'm really hey, sorry. Baby. Looking for a date? You have forgiven me rather quickly. Mm. For a hot one like yourself, my price is 40 to shake the earth. You're making me very uncomfortable. I'm a little short right <laughs> That's now. That's too bad. Come back when you've got the money. You won't regret it. Yeah, I don't like her. She's uncomfortable. Maybe oh. hitting her was not such a bad problem. Actually, you know what? No, I still apologize for that. You shouldn't be going around whacking people with tire irons. They don't deserve it. Hey, man, what's up? Uh, yes, is there something I can um, help you with? You're a bag of dicks. Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town, this time of night. Not a dreadful place, don't you think? Hmm. You should have listened to my mechanic. Buy German, he said. Uh -huh. I might want to seduce this dude because I need blood. So... How about looking for a little company? I've suddenly got the urge to walk down that dark and foreboding alley over there. Care to join me? Yep. Oh, here we go. All right, guys. Dude on dude kiss, sort of. Ah! And I'm good. Thanks, bud. All right. Police officer? You look like a douchebag. None, uh, none the wiser. All right. Let's go check out this tattoo parlor. Oh, all right. Let's not check out this tattoo parlor. It's locked. Okay. Um, just head down the street. That looks pretty cool. We could go there. Gallery Noir, Santa Monica Suites. Well, there's where Bloody Guy went in. Oh, wait, Santa Monica Suites 24. Hey, that was, must, maybe that was our buddy Mercurio. <laughs> that sucks. All right. Um, okay, whatever. Kick-ass parking garage. You look terrifying. Some sort of horribly awry Misty cosplay. You're a prostitute, aren't you? Hey, baby. Looking for a date? You're a prostitute. 
with the same amount of money or the same exact voice as the other one, and that is sad. All right. You know, honestly, I'm just going to not not talk to promiscuous looking women at least as long as I can help. Gimbal's prosthetics. That is not sketchy at all. Is there anything we can do down here? Um, I could use some slut, uh, nope, okay. Alright, well, I don't want to get into trouble that I can't handle. So, let's go over here. Let's talk to the fucking bleeding guy. Hopefully it's not our guy Mercurio, but I bet you it is. Hopefully he's not dying, that would be bad. Okay, oh god. Alright. Is this it? Is this his house? Yeah, number four. Buddy. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. Um, are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm... Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me. The bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Man, what the fuck? Stay with me, what I got, happened? I went... Uh, what is this? Oh, is this my rib? Oh, holy shit, my rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Hmm. Alright, um, cut the crap and tell me who did this. Alright, alright. Jeez, you think you were the one laying here with his guts hanging out? It was that freaking chemist. Guy mixes up speed, his crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Right. Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie fricks, hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. Okay. Never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those fricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. Vamp blood. Oh. Shit. They got the money. They got the answer. I understand. You're not a vampire. You are a ghoul. Now, a ghoul is what happens when you feed a living, breathing, happy to get to go, lucky human vampire blood. They normally become under the sway of the vampire that bit them, and I'd imagine the prince or one of his flunkies juiced up Mercurio here. But uh, let's see. Um, that's about all that there is to them. I mean, the longer you become a ghoul, the more it, the harder it is to resist your master. When you first start, you can totally break free, but most humans are totally into it because, I mean, it gives you it gives you a small amount of vampire power with almost none of the disadvantages except a ridiculous addiction to vampire blood. All right. Um, vampire blood? Right. You're straight off the bus. Once a month, I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Nice. Mm, where can I find the, the asteroid? Small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. And one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. All right. Um, how do I get it back? You gotta, you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him. Maybe break in. I don't know. I want to kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. No, it's all right. Um, anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. All right, I'll bring something back for you. Ah, uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Now, Mercurio, like, I'm going to take you up on that offer, and I'm not going to brat you out. But getting people what they need, like Astrolite, like, how well did that go? Ugh, alright. Good to know. Goodbye. Is there any... Can I dick around in Mercurio's apartment? No. Should probably get someone in here to clean up all this blood, but... <laughs> he turned on the lights. Uh, alright. 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 Guess we could get revenge for our friend here. That's not too bad. All right, quest log. Need some serious painkillers. Where would you find painkillers this time of night, if not a medical clinic? 
Interesting. Let's case this place. Let's check out the back here. There might be a rear entrance or something. Well, shit. Blood ba oh, blood bank downstairs. That's a different thing. The asylum. Megahertz computing. Locked. Foxy boxes. Where the hell are we? Oh, oh, we're on the other side of the parking structure. All right. Um, the asylum. I'm going in there. Diner. I oh, can go in there. Sure, why not? Let's check this place out. Hmm. <laughs> hey, man. Something I can help you with. Nope. Goodbye, then. Sketchy ass, dude. What'll it be? Uh, cream's curdled and I can smell it. You're the health inspector. You know, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear huh. when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting month. Yay. Thank you. 50 bucks? I can I'm live eating. with that. Who just talked? There's no one here. Is it this lady? Uh, I'm busy here. Oh, okay. That was her. Alright, you just bump into her and talk. Alright, a phone. Alright, cool. Whatever. Uh, Off. I'm busy here. You know what? I'm fucking busy too. I'm not even trying to talk to you. Chilled on this dude here, bus stop. Every second takes us closer to the time of judgment. Time of judgment gets closer every second. Okay. I'm really just gonna ignore you. I'm gonna go. Bail bonds. Hey, there's that. That was what they emailed me about. Let's go talk to this guy. Oh, hey, buddy. Arthur Kirkpatrick. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? You run this place, I assume. Yep, sure do. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. Nice. How's business these days? Well, my business ain't bad, I can tell you that much. Santa Monica's gone downhill. Used to be pretty nice, I guess. We do a higher volume now than we did a few years ago, but we gotta deal with a lot more bail jumpers and crap like that. Mm. Santa Monica's seen better Hell days. Yeah. I ain't complaining. I'm in a good position to watch it all just slide right down the tubes, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're kind of an asshole. You get a lot of bail jumpers. Of course, goes with the business. Then you sick the bounty hunter on them. That's gotta be an interesting job. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the day. Takes a solid set of brass balls to make a good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. Yeah? Is the hunter you have now any good? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find hmm. him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Uh, maybe I could find them for you instead? Well, I don't feel right cutting costs and loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, hmm. too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. That seems all right. Sure, where should I look? Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment right. one, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Sounds good. I'm gonna go check out that crime pewter. Yeah. Alright, um... Let's see, uh... G to M. Fascinating. Matteo M. Mm. 
the Andromedans and the Thetas are going to be fighting their war in this galaxy through us, Deb. And the American people, hmm. the people of Earth, you people cannot let this um, happen. It's let's see, home. Thank Looking you, for you know. Concludes the news portion of the show. Uh, how about some hacking. Well, this girl's got a pay her bill, so it's time for a few commercials. But don't go anywhere. I don't, don't think that's the back. password. Should I say? Uh, bonds. Friggin Chicken recently challenged several random people to a taste test between Friggin Chicken and the other leading chicken flavored products. Let's Ms. listen to which one they prefer. Ma'am. Nope. Care to participate All right. in the taste test? Um, a F. What do we chicken. got? Oh, I don't really know anybody by name, Is so. That weak old fish? Now try this. Chicken. Oh my god, this commercial. Sir, take a test. Ugh. Sure. Um, uh, uh, seriously, job these up your Here, try this one. Mm. Hey, mm. mother fucking great chicken right there. What is this? It's friggin' chicken. This is cat, right? Are you feeding me cat? Try this. <laughs> Holy fuck. Fuck, that's good. What the fuck is this shit? Nine out of ten people preferred friggin' chicken over the competition. <laughs> what the fuck Why? is so wrong with this game? Friggin' chicken. Oh, I mean, man. Friggin' chicken. Friggin' chicken. You'll swear it's the best you've ever had. You love the talking baby movie, and the talking pig, and even the talking car in that show. You know the one I'm talking about. But now prepare for the most hilarious talkingest normally need object yet. He's Steve Cash, a New York banker and recent whittler down on his luck. And ten makes one hundred. Here's your money, ma'am. Man. man. I happen to have a granular problem. That's it. I'm withdrawing all my millions from this bank. Cash! She's an ATM machine with the soul of his dead wife. There's something familiar about oh this God, ATM this is awesome. Machine. I remember. I love you. Wow, those marketing guys are geniuses. Together, they're learning to make the most of their special <laughs> situation. So that girl from accounting used me today. Really? She wasn't like everybody else. When she pushed my buttons, she was very gentle. Oh, honey, if you don't stop, I'm going to have to make a deposit. Transferring cash. Wednesdays at 8.30 in the BMC. Transferring cash. All right. Let's just, let's just, let's just go. Um, yeah. We'll leave the Astrolite guys for a little bit later. We'll see if we can get some painkillers from Mercurio and find a bounty hunter. Maybe do both at the same time. But the sweets, I know where they are, so let's head over there. Calm the fuck down. I really want to check out the nightclub too, but I think we'll do that after we've earned it. I don't want to just party down my own life and let my jobs go to, to waste. You are a fucking evil Sabat vampire, and I'm gonna just walk with. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck was that shit? That's not okay. I can go in the sewers. That seems like something I really don't want to do. Um. Need something, pal? Um. I'm looking for something. Oh man, wait! Say that again. Okay, I'm looking for something. Oh man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? What? What? Oh, come on! Oh man, you are too. Don't bullshit me, man. You're, You're nuts. So I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. I just wanna talk. Okay, let's talk. Hell yeah! Oh, man! I knew it! I just... Oh, jeez! I knew you were... I just could tell! Like, oh, man, this is great! And I saw your teeth in it, and I was like, damn! It was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. I didn't eat. Oh, man! Yeah, man. Uh, what's going on here? I'm a ghoul! No. Fucking can't spit without hitting a something vampiric in this town. Yep. Yep, here we go. You seem to enjoy it's it. It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. <laughs> I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Who's this nasty dude? Oh, man! I really wish I could tell you. 
but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires over here. Well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. What are you doing? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey, ha, it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man. You know what oh, man. Yeah, get out of here, dude. See you later. You have fun with that. Oh, okay. Huh. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's scope the Carson the Bounty Hunter's house here. Can we lockpick this? No, we can't. That is difficulty eight. Tattoo parlor key. All right. A ring. Oh, the answering machine's on. Check, check. Is this thing recording? God, I hate these things. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding, and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. <clears throat> there was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm going to follow up on another lead I got, too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. <clears throat> All right. How about we unpassword this bitch? Amalia. All right. That works. Location. Guy is hiding in the tattoo parlor in Santa Monica. All right. How about the key? It's on top of the TV. All right. Solid. We'll have to come back here and raid his stash when we're fucking ridiculously powerful, because right now that's not happening. So you want to shoot things. Actually, I think, hold on. Pretty sure books like that, if you read them, yep, they increase your stats. And I'm pretty sure it's permanent, but I'm not 100% sure. Alright. Mercurio, are you still alive? Curio. Uh, Try not to die on me, buddy. Okay, I just feel kind of like a dick waking him up for that, but you should probably try to stay awake anyway. He's got parts of him leaking out of other parts of him, and it just seems like a bad plan. Where was that tattoo parlor? That was on the other side of the street, I think, yeah? Oh no, it was right here. Never mind. Alright. Let's make an entrance. This place isn't creepy at all. Actually, I think I've been in worse tattoo parlors than this. Alright. Let's just scope around here and see. Phone ringing? Yeah, it's definitely a phone ringing. Getting closer or further away? Oh, it's this phone. All right. Hello? Hello. Might I speak with Mr. McGee? Doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I help well, you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? Um... No. Well, Mr. McGee was going to be doing some modeling for me. Hmm. Medical reference for the work that I do here in the studio. It's a shame, really. The proposition would have been quite lucrative for him. Really? Maybe I could come down and model for you. I have abs of steel. Why, yes, that sounds delightful. Perhaps you could come down to my studio and we can sort out the details. Sounds good. I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetic. That was that creepy-ass place, wasn't it? And I'll let you in. Sounds good. I think I just made a date. Okay, wow. Quick cash for modeling. What's in here? Nothing. Can't do... That's not fair, game designers. You need to, you need to not do that if that's what you're going to do to me here. All right, let's take a check. What, can we go back here? No, we can't do any of this. All right, well, that's been nice. 
I guess this is a dead end. All right, let's go head up to the... Do some modeling, I guess. Maybe I can rattle creepy guy down for some information. Maybe he'll try to kill me. I don't really know. All right, end of Main Street, huh? All right, here we go. I really like how it's always raining. And I mean, it's always night because you're playing a vampire, but it's pretty cool. I like the... The fuck is this shit? Nobody cares? Oh, is this Mercurio's car? Yeah, it totally is. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm a little bit nervous about this. A little bit nervous. Ah, yes. I, uh, I spoke with you on the phone. Oh, right, right. I'll buzz you in. Thanks. You don't look so bad. Prosthetics and medical supplies. You're here for the modeling job? Good, good. You seem to have rather well-developed limbs, if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, who are you? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimble. Stanley Gimble. But, oh, dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. All right, Stan. I'm ready to get started. Ah, an eager participant. Very good. Just give me a few moments to get my equipment ready, and then come on in and we'll get started. Okay. That was a little creepy. Oh, what? Can I... Okay, I can move around. Alright, so what do we got? Carnival of Death. Okay, this place doesn't seem so bad, really. I mean, or at least this part of this place. Let's just uh, check over my weapons here. Alright. I think I'm gonna try to shoot him. If he tries anything. Okay. This place suddenly got a lot. Oh, holy fuck. This place. Sorry, I uh, clicked on the draw there. Uh, this place has suddenly got really fucking creepy. Some Silent Hill shit going on here. Prosthetic limbs. Crash test dummies. Oh my god. Okay. Fucking K. I'm not so great right now. Well, here's the camera. Aren't we supposed to be? Sh <laughs> There's fucking blood in here. Is he a vampire? Maybe he's a vampire, and I'm just stepping on his toes because he doesn't know that I'm a vampire because I'm new in the city. Uh, um. All right, let's fucking get on with it. Let's go. We're a big badass vampire. Oh, Jesus H. Christ, I am suddenly really not okay. This is fucking horrible. Okay, let's get out of here. This one, not any better. Not any better at all. Alright, well, fuck it. Let's go find Dr. Gimble and see what the fuck he's gonna try to pull. Yeah. Gimble's not a nice man. Under there, will she? Time X. Hello? Huh? Oh, hey, help! You gotta get me out of here, man! This guy's a freaking nut job! Carson? Who, Gimble? Yeah, Gimble. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man! Freaking crazy! Alright, how do I open the door? Oh, what up, dude? Hold on, Gimbal. Give me that shit. Shit. I am the worst shot in the world. Oh, God, I'm out of ammo. Where's my knife? Where's my knife? Eat my knife. Give me my knife. All right. Shit. Oh, God. All right, blood heal. Blood buff. Get angry! That's what I gotta do. Juice up on vampire powers. And then let's speed up. There we go. That wasn't so bad. I mean, I almost died, but that wasn't so bad. 
Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. You're Carson, man. Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Her, oh, Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. You did? Oh, man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He's got some work for you. What? Oh, no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. Jesus, that's awful. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Uh, I'll understand. Thanks again. Don't worry. I'll take care of old Stumpy here. Yeah, better come back with the police. Can take his arm? Alright. That's not weird at all. No, he said McGee was in this. Oh, McGee didn't make it. Not even close. Alright, well. Let's not spend too much time in here. I don't know what he was trying to do. I mean, was he just kidnapping people and cutting them up because he's a serial killer? I mean, that seems unrelated, but it seems alright. I don't know. Alright, well. No sense to spend any more time here. Ugh, alright, let's go. I'm gonna use another blood heal. That way I can just sort of juice up here on the way out. Alright, is there any way to get in here and see if there's anything I can take? Nope, it seems to not be. Alright, and let's get the fuck out of this creepy place. I'm pretty proud of this. That was completely unrelated to vampires. I mean, fucking crazy-ass guy with a severed arm trying to beat me to death with it, but that happens. Let's see. Why don't I give the news back to Kilpatrick, and then we'll call it quits. <laughs> Kilpatrick's on the other side of town. I'll head down my favorite alley here. Alright, so, let's see. We're wrapping up here for this episode. Uh, next episode, I think we're going to hunt down Mercurio's Astrolite and get on with the mission we're supposed to be doing. And we'll probably check out the nightclub, too. Because I need blood. You know what? I'm trying to monologue. Can you just chill? Alright. But, otherwise, things seem pretty good. Hello, LA. You have way past What's shaking? Found Carson. Unfortunately, he's what? not coming back. Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? Uh, his trigger finger got cut off by a Man, psychopath. that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water. Boy. Yeah. It's gonna cost old Arthur real good. Yeah? Well, who'd you need Carson to find? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long. Put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? Hell yeah, I do. You haven't paid me for finding Carson yet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Now, about well, that job? it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. Sounds fun. You've got a deal. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Muddy Goes Mike Durbin. Name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's Pawn Shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. All right. Sounds dangerous. Well, I wouldn't normally tell you this, but since you did help me out, Trip down at the pawn shop. He's a little fried and paranoid, so he don't usually sell guns to anyone. But just tell him hmm. Arthur sent you. He'll set you up, all right. Seems good. All right. I'll just head over to Marion. That's right, Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above hey, the pawn shop. Hey, I live in those crappy right places above the pawn shop. Is, where is he going? Whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? All right, fucking fine. Yeah, I hear you. All right, come. I'm good. I'm out. Alright. Thanks, Arthur. I think that does it for us. See you next time, guys.